Hello everyone, I am Saravanan. I am going to demonstrate on how to configure B2B data transformation to validate a HIPAA file. Let's go to the agenda of this particular demonstration. So the agenda would be, uh, the first agenda would be to you know uh, show you the configuration in data transformation related to edifix. And second, after the configuration, I'll show you how to run a sample DT project to validate the HIPAA file. And once the uh, project is run, I'll also show you uh, the output files being generated. Now let us uh, get into the uh, live demo. So first of all, uh, to start with, I'm going to show you what is required to start with the configuration. So to start with, what we all require is the uh, web URL for the edific services. So I have so this is a web URL. Uh, this web web URL has to be configured in the uh, DT config file, um, so that the DT config uh, the DT service or the DT data transformation can uh, use this particular link to send the uh, HIPAA files to get it validated. So this particular um, link, okay, this particular link has to be configured in the data uh, transformation. Uh, config file. I'm going to show you how to do that. So as we uh, see here, okay, so um, I have installed the data transformation uh, in the machine where the edifix uh, service is running. So let me go to the config directory of the data transformation. So this is a cmconfig.xml where uh, the edifix, uh, web, uh, the web URL has to be configured. So once I open this, uh, we'll find list of uh, settings. Uh, so most concerned setting uh, would be the CM uh, library section. So this is what I was referring to, the CM libraries. So here we need to add the HIPAA validation web service link. So the one what we saw in the browser, HTTP colon slash slash, the host name colon, uh, the Tomcat uh, port number where the edifix service is listening to. So this is the changes that needs to be done in the cmconfig.xml file. So this tag, everything is uh, to be kept intact. So once uh, these details are provided, uh, the next thing to do would be to deploy the uh, HIPAA validation service. HIPAA validation service, I, I have already deployed it in the service DB folder, but to uh, all who, uh, I mean, who wants to know how to do that. So basically, uh, we need to install HIPAA validation library in the DT studio. That is what I'm going to show you first. So if you go to the uh, data transformation library section, here you can find HIPAA validation, right? So this HIPAA validation, uh, libraries has to be installed first and you see this validation option uh, so this is the thing we are um, where we get the HIPAA validation uh, project so uh, just to uh, create the project I go to new and say um, library project I'm um, sorry so So click on the library project. And we can specify a name, HIPAA validation. Here, expand HIPAA validation, validation and say next. So uh, this is a project which needs to be deployed. Uh, needs to be deployed and copied over to the server uh, service DB folder. So once the deployment is done, now we are going to run it using proper arguments. So for this, I take you to the putty session uh, where this can be done. So. So 
So here, uh, this is an actual machine where we are into um, and going to validate by calling the HIPAA validation project. So this is a file I'm going to validate. This is a simple file that I'm going to validate. If you see the content, this is what it is, an A34 file, which I'm going to uh, validate. So if you see in this folder, there are no acknowledgement files. There are nothing other than the input file and a few other reference file. All I'm concerned about is the uh, input file and uh, and small script to invoke. It's a very simple uh, script. As you can see here, the main focus is this particular line till this. So this is a CM console command that invokes the HIPAA validation project with a, a file name. Yeah, I mean, uh, the file name is coming as an argument. I'm going to send this test.dat as a first argument. And here you see the outputs getting generated. Hyphen O, where the actual output gets generated. The output.xml. And then the various acknowledgement 277, 824, 997, invalid, uh, and the XML report. So, once I invoke this script, all it does is it invokes the HIPAA validation project and this HIPAA validation DT project in turn sends this file sends this file to the edifix server using the web service call using the uh, web URL that we provided in the config and then it processes the file and gets the result and writes into these files. So I'm going to demonstrate that how it is possible. So uh, I'm calling this script with this particular input file. So I'll have to wait till it goes through the uh, execution process. So uh, now what happens is this particular file gets submitted uh, first to the uh, edifix server and it does the processing. So if you want to evaluate the processing, you can open the uh, remote console utility for the HIPAA and see if the particular files are get, uh, processed or not. So uh, uh, there are a few articles I'll uh, refer at the end of this session. So now if I say oh, um, uh, list, so if, uh, I mean, once the processing is done, as you can see, I get a lot of files other than what we saw earlier. Uh, so I see a 277 file with 0 bytes and I see XML file, I see a TA1 file, output XML file, invalid file, HTML report, error count, 999 acknowledgement. So these are all set of files that we get uh, on validation and that is what we have generated through the data transformation project. So uh, that and just to see the content of the HTML. Uh, I mean, you can always open it in the HTML browser and see the uh, um, files as in the result or the output errors. So uh, that's all I love to present. And now, uh, finally, uh, to, you know, uh, for more details, if you need uh, some more details on how to monitor edifice, you can always refer to the KB article 124003. And uh, if you have any feedback, uh, you can write us uh, support videos at informatica.com or you can always do it in the info support at Twitter. Thank you for listening.